welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday all day. No, it's, it's Thursday. We're getting close. And we're getting close to Friday. And in fact, we might have a PA day tomorrow. Believe me, I count down all the days. Yeah, all the days to Friday. But Monday. anyway, five, <laughs> four, four, three, two. Anyways, welcome to today's video. We're headed out today. Uh, we didn't start the video till a little bit later because we're headed out. We're gonna go hopefully ride. If you're wondering where all of our nighttime videos are, all of our videos of us riding are, we have hardly been riding because of all the stuff, yeah, the flood and all that kind of stuff. And so, then it's ice. And then, yeah, like we were scheduled to have lessons last night and then uh, poof, the barn was ice. Like, it's just been uh, crazy. We we're gonna get back to it really soon though posting videos of our riding. We've just been doing like little tiny bits of riding. Uh, nothing like, not like a full lesson or anything like that. So we'll get back to that soon. But uh, today is the day we get to spend with our boys and I'm super excited. And let's go to the barn. I'm just realizing that it now takes a lot of people to manage our three horses. So I have to do grain because Sam's not here. Hopefully I have grain, holy heck. I have grain. I don't have any bags. But the girls also need me to drag horses over there. This is getting complicated. I'm gonna have to do the grain after. So complicated, you guys. Hi, fellas. We went from, oh my God. <laughs> what the heck, Finn? How did that happen? And your blankets are all a mess. Like, hey, my is clean. <laughs> yeah, Sophie's phone is clean. One, one, two, three. Hold on. Sheena wants to roll so bad. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. We were going to take off your blankets if you gave us a chance, but first we'll do the communal roll. <laughs> uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be bucking over here. Little mini. Oh, poor Finn. Look at his belly. You don't realize how dirty a horse's belly is. Holy heck. Okay, if you give us a minute, we'll take your blankets off, boys. Finn. Finn's like, oh. Hey! Don't you come near us. Go he goes to Sophie. Go <laughs> He's like, don't come to us. <laughs> so anyways, Chino, uh, so Chino got a shoe put on a week ago. <laughs> it throws such the weirdest fits. So, oh my God, look at your horse's face. Oh, yeah, just dive. <laughs> behind <mom. laughs> Sophie, hey, stop pushing me out front. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Because <laughs> they want to come to us. That's the problem. So Chino got his... Wait, let Finn roll. So Chino got his shoe on. Shoes on the other day, a week ago. And then his foot was really sore, like, right away. And so the farrier came back and pulled the shoe. And he was going to come back, like, the next day and put it back on. He just thought maybe there was, like, a hot nail or something and so he was gonna come back the next day but then the barn flooded no 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 very bad idea so then the barn flooded so so then we had to wait so now here's been chino with no shoe all because of flooding like everything our, our whole life is just dissolving into a mess because of floods because of mother nature chino is just a roaring beast these days <laughs> Give me that whip, she says. Don't you come to us. I have protection. Finn, poor little gold Finn, I love him. So anyways, he's getting his shoe on today. <laughs> Chino has so uh, yeah, Chino again with the mirror. Do you guys remember when we first bought Chino and his only friend was the mirror, it was the horse in the mirror? And time to roll again.
or take their blankets off? Each one grab their own horse. We're gonna change Finny's well, blanket. I have two. You grab. Do one at a time. All right, they're all naked. A lot of naked horses. Grayfin's leaning himself. Yeah. In here. Hi, Grayfin. He's actually <laughs> scared. Grayfin is scared of his reflection in the mirror. Finny, you're so chunky. We oh. like a chunky pony. It doesn't mean any ridden. He actually doesn't look that bad. So we have our massage therapist coming next week. Look like a circle of ponies. Don't come to me. Go to your girl. Aww. You got white hair all, you got over, got white hair all over you. We oh, know where you've been. Aww, look. Our horses know. Grayfin's like, I don't know where to go. I don't know about you guys, but I love just watching them. Watching them interact, watching them run, watching them play, watching Chino bite Grayfin. Watching Grayfin. Yeah, Chino looks gorgeous. And Finn's gonna rule. And, and Goldfin. Is. Goldfin smelling the flowers. And Chino's Gray Finn's gonna roll. They're all gonna roll. <laughs> hilarious. Chino's actually hilarious. Chino loves his boys. Chino, Chino thinks Chino <laughs> Chino literally thinks he's the boss of this little group. Don't you even come. Nope. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, so Chino's eating the flowers. Sorry, Brandon. We owe you flowers, Brandon. He just spit them out. And now Grayfin is eating the flower box. Apparently our horses are hungry today. I've never had this happen to me before. Chino is so itchy. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like scratching him and he's wiggling his bum all into my hand. Like pushing it all into me. Like it's just so funny. He's like <laughs> shoving his body into my hand saying, yes, scratch me there, scratch me there. Oh, it's so itchy. <laughs> like, please, scratch me. Scratch me more. <laughs> so funny. Ah. Oh. That's spring, handsome man. It is spring. One thing that we've changed with Chino in our journey is we've changed his diet in a massive way. Like, we had a huge overhaul of his diet, and so I'm always watching to make sure he's maintaining his weight. And he's actually doing really well maintaining his, date, his weight. <laughs> just scratch me shut up and scratch me he says so this is going to be a true test a true testament of how clean gabby can get her horse no i can't he's already stained <laughs> he's so stained like i feel like with a gray horse you get the mud off and you clean them but you save like you can't just like use all the products and wet them and clean them straight down to white for every ride because too many products aren't good for a horse, one. And number two, it's too cold. The weather's not good to be like putting them outside all wet. So like for a while until the warmer weather gets here, we're just gonna have to deal with a little bit of dirt on our gray horse. But all those people who said, don't get a gray horse, don't get a gray horse, it's all coming back to me now. Oh, Chino's got two shoes on, finally. Gabby and Sophie are about to ride. Sophie's just riding at a walk with Finny. I just really want to do more than a walk. Yeah, can we hurry this up? Because I still have grain to do. I still have another horse to ride. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, take it all. Oh, look at them. That was so cute. Brothers. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm so happy. They're both so happy. 
Yes, you can go forever cold. I honestly feel so incredibly passionate about the fact that we should share our imperfections and we should be upfront with the things that we don't do well and we should take uh, suggestions from people and we should learn from one another and in the equestrian world it's so incredibly toxic and oftentimes it comes from a good place and it just gets out of control it's just shocking to see like if you look on any single equestrian's social media that is not a professional or someone who doesn't just show the good stuff it's all negative and it's all so much criticizing anybody who's not perfect and actually in so many ways like it's just the way the world has gone has has gone to and just makes me sad that we have to be like that and it has to be like that but i want to be strong and i want you guys to be strong so many people have sent me messages saying like somebody said i'm too big for my pony and then i didn't ride it anymore like people are losing such valuable parts of their lives because they feel judged by somebody else and it shouldn't be that way and we're not that way and i want to support you if you're feeling judged or you're feeling that way and i want you to know that it doesn't matter what other people say you know what's right you know what you're doing and other people looking in from afar can say what they want but it it doesn't have a reflection on you finn is like finn is like come on toby let's just do it she won't notice <laughs> you're next you know gabby's over there riding with no reins you guys she's riding with no reins and she thinks brandon would be so proud of her Today's just about building trust, she says, and she's going to use no reins. <laughs> A beautiful little circle. He finally uses his corners. <laughs> He's trying to go out. All right, we're ready to go. This is so much harder than you guys think. Like three horses, back and forth. Got them all. And everybody's ready to go except for Gray Finn. Don't you know that you're beautiful?